Just reached the VAT threshold and wondering when you should start charging VAT? Well, watch on. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. And of course, VAT is one of the main topics that pops up all the time, not only in our day job, but it's very popular in the YouTube comments and in requests for videos. So I thought I wanted to pick out uh, particularly one question from a viewer around, they're just about to register for VAT, when do they have to start charging VAT? You know, if they if they register, they now have to work out all oh, all these sales I've had in. Have I got hand over a load of VAT previously? And that's the question I want to answer in this one. So if you enjoy these type of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell below so you get notified whenever we release more videos just like this. So do you have to go back? So if you have to register, and let's just very briefly recap on the VAT registration threshold. So at the time recording this video. If you've done £85,000 in a 12-month period, and there's plenty of videos we've done talking about that in more detail, but £85,000 in a 12-month period of what's known as sort of taxable services, then you're gonna to have to register for VAT. You might be able to register before that. There's loads of caveats to this, so I'm just talking generally, usually. But if you're starting to get around 85K sales, you should start thinking instantly, do I have a VAT issue here if you're not already registered? So in this particular instance, we've had to register. And the question is, am I now then gonna to have to go back and look at my sales and hand over a load of VAT? And the answer to that question is no. You start from the day you effectively register. They call it the effective date of registration, and then you start register. You start charging VAT and accounting for that, and having to hand it over from that date onwards. Now, if you're late, then obviously you're going to have to go back and pay some back VAT from when you should have been registered. But it's the same rules, you know. All that happened is your registration date might have been three months earlier, and then you'd have to work out three months ago that's the VAT on those sales I would have had to hand over. Now in this period before, you would have of course had to pay VAT on the stuff you're buying. So you know, if, you buy, if you're paying accountants who have VAT registered, phone bills that got VAT on, you know, you're buying stock that's got VAT on, you'd have had to have paid VAT already. And, and then moving forward uh, from your registration date, you can look at, and you might be able to reclaim some of that VAT. So in an easy normal scenario where you're paying VAT on the product you're buying in to then kind of do something to and sell it on, then you're gonna be able to recover that VAT usually and offset that against the VAT you're having to hand over. So you can kind of reclaim it. That's the normal way of, of thinking of it. Um, but there is some good news on the first return when you go to register, and that's that you can actually look back, and if you've got stock on hand that's got VAT and you could claim the VAT normally, then it's likely you're gonna be able to claim it on the first return. And that can go back you know, quite a considerable number of years if you've still got it on hand. Same with any big equipment you've got, things like that. And you know, even services in the last six months. So if you've paid your accountant that's got VAT on for the last six months, you might be able to look at those bills. It's too detailed to go in and say 100% in this video, yes, in this situation you better do it, but just know that they're the kind of general rules that are available. So whilst, even if you're, if you're in that um, sort of area where you're dealing with Joe Public, you know, normal consumers and, and people out in the world who aren't VAT registered, and you've sort of waited because it wasn't gonna be great for you when you had to register, you've got this pain, you know, that it can feel horrible, like, oh, I've got all this VAT to worry about and everything, and pricing problems. The good news is, in that first return, there might be a little bit of a, a softening there because there might be some VAT to sort of uh, claw back in that first return. So if you're working with an accountant, I'm sure they'll be able to tell you about that. If you're doing it yourself, read up on the rules, research it, and just see what is claimable because that can be a nice little cushion in the first return. So there you go, good news. Generally, from that effective date of registration onwards, you're gonna be charging VAT on your sales. You don't have to suddenly work out the whole year before and start handing it over unless you've been naughty and it's still, it's the same rule. It's, it's from that effective date of registration. Please do share this with anybody that needs to know and we'll see you in the next one.